Oh, oh, <clears throat> oh, hello guys, uh, Mr. Dalton here, yeah, I feel kind of tired, but this is the last video I'm going to do for today, it's going to be a reaction video, it's a reaction video of, I got zero subscribers, kind of silly, right, <clears throat> I'm kind of tired, but it's okay, I'll try the best as I can to make this video good. Wow, so this guy named John C. Jones, who's over six, uh, six point eighty-seven sus grand subscribers, and I'm only one hundred. So let's continue, okay? Okay, guys. So I just woke up and I was looking at the live count, <clears throat> and we're at zero subscribers. Okay. And I was like, guys, we did it. And then, I went outside, and look what I found. Wait, what? Fifth, YouTube sent me this, guys. So, we're gonna look oh, inside it. It's fake. Alright, so. YouTube sent let's him? Let's see what we have. Okay. Let's see. Bunch of rap things. Oh, I guess. Oh! Oh. Here's a letter. Look. A letter? Let's see it. Gotta show it up. It says, there. Good job for getting zero subs. Okay. Well, thanks, you two. And then look at this. Oh, looks like a play button. Ha! That is so silly and cute. Oh. I mean, this is a this what is the? Awesome. To just get to have this in my hand. Well, thank you, you two. Thanks. Okay, guys. I don't understand that video, but that was kind of hilarious, right? Kind of well fake. But, I think it's kind of funny. And, let's see what another one is. So, these videos, these guys do videos. So, let's do this other one called, The Zero Subscriber Play Bunch Unboxing. Hmm. One sec, guys. Alright guys, um, this is another one before I do another reaction video called I For- My Dad Forces Me To Become A YouTuber. I don't know why, but it's based on a true story, so let's continue. Hey guys, After it's this. Ollie Wells here, back with another video on my channel. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna be thanking you guys for two subscribers. Yesterday, okay. or maybe the day before. I uploaded thank you for one subscriber, and today you guys got me, or maybe yesterday, I don't know. You guys got me two subscribers. I really want more. Please get me more. It will mean so much to me, and thank you guys. See you in the next video. Peace out. Well, that was a fast video, but I was planning for this other video, okay? So I'll show you. Alright guys, let's do another reaction video based on a true story. So this is what it is. My dad forced my little su sister to become a YouTuber. This is kind of based on a true story, guys. So this girl, I don't know, but let's listen to this, okay? Hello guys, I'm Irene. I'm going to tell you a story about my sister Bethany and our dad. I watched it all happen from the beginning. I tried to intervene, but it didn't help hmm. because my dad wouldn't listen. Ugh. Like every good father, our dad does everything he can to provide us with the best of everything. Unfortunately, he's very unlucky when it comes to business. Mm -hmm. He's a waiter, and I know that he is really good at his job. But for some reason, he can never stay in the same restaurant for more than one year. Oh, no. Recently, he was working at an Italian restaurant, and he was on good terms with his boss. But when he saw that another waiter was being treated unfairly, he quit his job. Oh. On such days, he comes home with flowers. When my mom saw the flowers, she knew right away that he had quit. Next morning, as we were going off to school, dad was looking for an online job. Mm. 
We all knew that he'd find a new job pretty quickly because he always did. Sometimes we'd get back from school and he would already be working at another restaurant. This time, we were faced with an unexpected <gasps> offer. Dad was super excited when we got back from school. Huh. He sat us down. Girls, it's time for us to work for ourselves. We're going to start a family business. I don't have to work for other people anymore. I have a great idea. Really? But I'll need you to help me with it, he said. Then he looked at my sister. Especially you, Bethany, huh? he said, smiling. <laughs> Dad's great idea was starting a YouTube channel for my sister. Ooh. Apparently, he came across some news online. It was about child YouTubers who made the most money this year. Oh, yeah, guys. I forgot to let you know that most video ch child YouTubers, like this guy named Ryan Wild, Evan Tube, and others. I heard of those things when I was like six years old. I used to watch them when I was uh, back in 2014 before I started to become a YouTube channel. So that's pretty interesting, guys. So. Um, the next video, I will tell you how and why how I became wanting to become a YouTuber. So I'll tell you tomorrow. tomorrow. This is he back. was shocked when he saw that they made millions of dollars. Ooh. He was on YouTube all day, going through child YouTubers' channels and watching their videos. He got really excited when he saw that they were pretty simple videos, mostly of kids playing Ooh. games. Uh, uh, um, well... Uh, I don't know what I forgot who your name is, but I don't think your father does think it's simple because you had to do a lot of editing and you had to do a lot of cutting videos. Like I use Kind Master, it's pretty easy. So once you uh start to do an editing video, you make it hits, and you need your videos to be more quality and better quality and speak up really clearly, like I'm doing right now. That you. And you gotta look good, and no more um naughty stuff on you, okay? So that's one of the reasons how you can become more popular. Anyway, back to the story. Sorry for interrupting. After telling us all this, he said, "My daughter is so much prettier than all the other kids I saw. Uh -huh. We could be one of the channels on that list next year." He said. Hmm. Apparently, he told it all to our mom during the day. She got into it, too, when she heard how much money they were making. Bethany can do it as long as it doesn't disrupt her schoolwork. Some videos feature oh. moms as well. I can help out if you want, she said to him. It looked like they had already made up their minds. Bethany couldn't really say anything. Would I be able to do it, though, she asked. But I knew she liked the idea. The mood at home was really good. <laughs> videos with pools are very popular. We'll move to a new house with a large pool next year, huh. he said, and started dreaming. The next day was Saturday. Dad took us to the aquarium. Bethany knew the place well because we had been there before with our parents and also once on a school trip. Dad was shooting a video, so she pretended like it was her first time. She was running around, looking at all the fish and acting really excited. Huh. Dad was in such a good mood. He recorded everything Bethany did in the aquarium. When we got home, Dad wanted to edit the videos right away. But he had no idea how to do it. Brand he borrowed my laptop. He spent the whole evening trying to figure out a video editing program. He was asking me questions, but I couldn't help him, since I also didn't know anything about it. Oh. The funniest part was seeing my dad still working on it the next morning when we woke <gasps> up. When he finally finished it, he proudly showed it to us. Good. Honestly, it was a regular family video. At the same time, it was just like the other kids' videos on YouTube, which had millions of views. Dad's video was as ordinary as those videos. He made a YouTube channel under my sister's name and uploaded the video. He was so excited, as if the whole country had been waiting to see it. Huh. He bet my mom on the number of views it would get. Dad said it would get five or 6,000, but Mom thought it wouldn't get more than 1,000. The whole day, he couldn't sit still and was pacing around. You know, um, uh, I don't want, I don't, I want to let you know something that, 
um, you don't have to be very patient for your vid videos to get subscribers and views. Like, you gotta wait as long as you can. Like, that's what I do. I wait uh, as calmly as I can do, and then and let myself get hundreds of uh, views on it. Like, I do have a lot of hit videos. So, um... I hope this video does get a lot of videos because this is a popular channel called That's My Story, who's over 370 grand subscribers. Well, you got the silver play button, so let's continue on the video, okay? The video in the evening, it only had 14 views. Yes, 14. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it was just my dad watching it over and over. No. And maybe Bethany watched it three or four times. Next week, they made a new video every day. Dad was adding more videos to the thousands that were already on YouTube. Wow. One day, my sister and mom played a game together. Then they did a colors video using fruits and vegetables. Wow. In another video, Bethany unpacked new toys and introduced them. <laughs> Dad got over the disappointment of the first video. He would shoot a new video, edit it in the evening, and upload it the next morning. That's a good but despite deal. his efforts, the results were the same. Nobody was watching the videos. One day, Dad came home with a bunch of boxes. He had bought professional video equipment. Uh, um, guys, can I also tell you something? This is the another next next generation of me. I was thinking of having all that equipment, but don't worry, I have a next generation camera, but it's for action camera, so wait until you see the future, you will see 4K -E action movement, so that will be really great, right? So that's what I was thinking for like those like that you know, that light sources there in that perfect camera that has 60 frames per second and four grand 4k of the moment. But I don't know how much they cost, but I knew I knew in the absolute fact that they're very expensive. So, um, I think that's going to be the next next generation of my channel. Anyway, I'm just letting you know, you know, okay? My parents didn't have any money saved. Oh, no. So he had to sell his car to buy them. Oh. Mom wasn't happy about this at all. Our family had no money coming in. Oh, no. Now that Dad was out of work, spending all this extra money wasn't right. For the next month, he used the new camera and lights for the videos. Even though the visual quality was better, the content was the same. The most watched video in the channel didn't even have a hundred views. Oh. It's so good to see you guys. Oh. Come on out here. Stupid advertisement. Are we on yet? Well. Oh, okay, but guys, we're back. So, anyway, let's continue. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. That's kind of too bad that this, it's uh, the same contact. However... You can do a reaction video like like I'm doing right now. Like do parody and comedy videos like me and Maisie and Nicole Borva do. We do these very different and we're like the same. We're like three members of... <gasps> Imran, I have an amazing idea. We should name ourselves a gang. Yeah, like we call them... The, uh, hmm. You, I will think about it, okay? So let's continue on the video. We'll think about it in the next video. The worst part was that Bethany was bored now. When Dad called her over to shoot, she'd make up excuses. She didn't look happy in the videos. Dad was in much worse shape than her. He felt responsible for the failure. He didn't have a job, but had expenses to pay. Mm -hmm. When Bethany didn't really feel like performing, he'd lose his patience with her. We no longer recognized him. He would scream at Bethany, forcing her to act for the camera. There was no peace at home. My parents started fighting a lot. Bethany got too scared to complain, but she looked like a robot in front of the camera. When I watched the videos, I felt real- That is so embarrassing, guys. By the way, guys, that's so crazy to see that a video that is like that. Really bad for her. It was weird that my dad actually liked the videos. What? According to him, the problem was the lack of promotion. 
so he invested the rest of his money on promoting the channel. Views increased a little, but when the ads stopped, they went back down to what they used to be. His final move was to put himself in front of the camera. That's he thought he had come idea. up with an amazing idea. He put on a caveman costume. <laughs> Bethany chased after him with a bunch of toy dinosaurs. Since my dad was a caveman, he was running scared from the dinosaurs. Uh. He waited a while after uploading this ridiculous video to the channel. The views weren't going up, so he borrowed money from a friend to promote the channel again. I couldn't watch that dinosaur video for more than a few minutes. It hurt to see my dad like that. He looked so desperate. Mm. The next day, Bethany came up to me at school crying. <laughs> One of her classmates had seen the dinosaur video, thanks to the promotion, and showed it to everyone. What? Oh, they started mocking that. dad and making fun of Bethany. She got angry and pushed a girl so hard that she fell. The teacher got really angry with her. If you do that again, I'll send you to the principal, she said. When she told my mom about it, she got angry too. She and dad had one of the worst fights I'd seen. Mom was screaming, this YouTube thing is over. There will be no more video shoots in this house, she kept saying. I need to get a return on my investment. Will all this money and effort go to waste? He kept asking. Once he realized that mom wasn't backing down and she... Yeah, um, yeah, that's kind of bad. Um, consultation, guys. The more important to you is not to use up your money. Your money is for you to be happy, to buy groceries, put food on the, uh, and, and pay the bills and, and do something like, it's not for buying YouTube or buying toys or anything. The YouTube is just for making people to watch and for one thing is, um, YouTube is also another thing to make money too. Like you can get an advertisement once you hit 1,000 subscribers and 4K views. So just to let you know, not to waste your money. And remember, I always keep my money safe. And that goes to all of you. That's right. He stopped yelling. <laughs> After a while, he started apologizing. Dad wasn't a bad person. He had done the best he could, but things just didn't work out. Mm. He lost control when he couldn't find a way out. Mm. He came and talked to us once more. Girls, I'm so ashamed of myself. I couldn't see what I had been doing. Bethany, I'm especially sorry for how I treated you. I understand if you can't forgive me, he said. He was about to cry. <gasps> he left the house before we could say anything and didn't come back that night. He messaged mom in the morning. She was really sad when she showed us the message. Sweetie, I'm okay. I decided I'm not coming home until I find a good job. Don't worry about me. I love you all very much. I'm sorry for everything, said the message. Dad wasn't around the next day or the day after that. He was texting, though. Honey, I'm oh. still looking for a job. I can't come home without a good job after all this. Kiss the girls and tell them I love them. The doorbell rang early the next morning. It was Dad. We were so happy. He turned to my sister. Thank you for the video. None of this is your fault. I was the one forcing you. If anyone's guilty, it's me, he said, hugging her. Mm. He added, I wish you turned the lights on, though. Your pretty face would have looked better. Yeah. Mom and I were confused. <gasps> Turns out, Bethany shot a video when we were sleeping. In it, she said that she loved Dad a lot, and all of this was her fault, asking him to come back home. Then she uploaded it to the channel. Dad's phone got a notification that said, a new video has been uploaded to Bethany's channel. Oh, yeah. Um, guys, that's what I hear. Like, uh, Imran and Nicole Borva. I can, I can do, uh, hear your notifications all the time. So just to let you know, it's a little reference. Surprised, he clicked on it right away. He got really emotional, <laughs> but had to wait until the morning since it was already late. Dad found a new job a few weeks later. Oh, he says that his experience with YouTube and his video skills helped him land the job. The employer asked him why dad stopped working. That's when he told him about the YouTube adventure. The employer had been wanting to make a YouTube channel featuring him cooking his mom's recipes. They decided to work on the shoots together. Oh, that's good. He's going team to pay dad well, that's good teamwork. Um, that's what we 
and and that goes for you, Maisie. That's what we are. We are like a big team to to help us to get more subscribers and views and make the people happy. And that's what we do. Extra for them. <laughs> Dad wasn't looking forward to it since he was going to be reminded of our miserable days. But he was happy that he was going to make back his money. That's it from me. What do you think about child YouTubers? Tell me in the comments. If you want to keep up with stories like mine, subscribe to the channel. Bye. Well, guys, that's quite a bit of reaction to that video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, guys, it's based on a true story. So I will tell you some facts, some tomorrow, to let you know why do I start this channel for the first place. And why did I name this channel for the first place, too? So tomorrow morning... Or tomorrow in the evening or night, I will post a video tomorrow and let you know how in the wild. So, did you also know, guys, this is what the old logo of YouTube used to look like. Wow, YouTube has been come along. YouTube, uh, logo. The YouTube logo, um, 2005. Wow, guys, just look at this. This is the evolution of YouTube. So let me get this straight. 2005 to 2011. 2011 to 2013. Wait a minute. I remember those locals. 2013, 2015. And 2017, uh, 2015 and 17. Then this is what it looks like right now. So this is kind of cool, right? And that's quite a bit of the video, guys. YouTube is all about um, making uh, videos and... Wow, YouTube has come along, right? So I want to say, what do you think or if you like this video, send it to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. And also, happy a Martin Luther King Jr. Eve. Also, remember, do not force your kids or your friends to do a YouTube channel because it's kind of going to hurt them. Anyway, bye.